Hello everyone, welcome back to another video where today I wanted to tell you a little bit about my trip to Telford Comic Con over last weekend. It's taken me a while to get around to this video, but I hope you enjoy it nonetheless. We're going to be talking about how I met Freeman Regimen, met Paul McGann again, and just had an overall good time, as well as talk about some of my travel woes, because it wouldn't be a story about me going anywhere without travel somewhat going wrong. But before we get into it, if you could do me a teeny tiny little favour and click that subscribe button. We're already almost at 20,200, which is incredible. Thank you so much for the support. Let's keep it going. Subscribe if you're new, that would be greatly appreciated. But with that said, let's get into the video. So this time I decided to head to Telford via train. I booked my tickets way in advance and I thought, I'll be fine, you know, we'll be fine. Little did I know, a rail strike was happening. On the day that I went, this will become an issue later on. So the way I get to Telford is you've got to make a stop at Shrewsbury to get to Telford. So we got on the train to Shrewsbury, no problems, all chill. There was a 40 minute wait. I thought, sweet, go to Starbucks, get a wrap, and then go back out with 10 minutes to spare so they've got plenty of time to get me on and stuff because they got to get like a ramp out. And then they tell me that they filled up the train with people, including the disabled base, even though I booked. Safe to say, I was stressed out. Luckily, they managed to get us on a bus. However, the guy operating the bus ramp, it was his first time using the ramp, so it took him about three attempts to get it to actually work. I guess if there's one conclusion I've come to, not only through that whole saga, but also through basically all of my Comic-Con trips, because pretty much all of them involve some sort of travel kind of issue for me during the process of getting to the venue, it's don't travel on public transport while you're disabled, or if you are, just be aware that chances are you're probably going to get screwed over at some point during the process. It always kind of happens. Although I do want to say I support the people striking. It's not their fault. It's just kind of the way things are. I finally made it to the convention and after queuing, luckily in the accessibility line, because my god, the regular line was so long, I made it in. And my first stop was I was just in time for the Freeman Regimen photo shoot. Freeman was lovely. Obviously, you don't get to speak to people very much when you're in the cubicles. It's very much sort of quick in and out type thing. But she was lovely. You know, she was she was very patient. She said, you know, maneuver wherever you need to for the picture. You know, and it's a very nice picture. I, I really do like it. Also, yeah, as I think you were all aware, I was in 14 cosplay. I also had the added bonus of trying to get back in time for the 60th anniversary trailer. And what's funny is, I would have made it back in time if my train wasn't cancelled, but as a result of my train going back being cancelled, I was 20 minutes late. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Sorry I'm late, we've been at a convention, I've been at a convention, uh, you can tell by the costume, although it's kind of fitting, because we've just had the 60th anniversary specials trailer, the big trailer that's been hyped up before Eurovision, for most of the rest of the con, I kind of just enjoyed myself. I got a picture with this TARDIS, which was pretty neat. And I also met up with a bunch of people. Liam, who you'll remember from some of my previous convention stories, as well as DW2012, Troy at Red Archer Live, the co-host of Crispy Pro's podcast, and so many of you guys as well. Shout outs to everyone who came up and said hello. It always means so much to me when you guys do that. And then, shortly after that, I went to go see Paul McGann. Now, I wasn't planning on doing it, but he was doing selfies if you went up to the desk, and I thought, I can't not do that, even though, you know, I've already met Paul McGann. So I got this selfie with Paul McGann, and he was he was really, really nice. He was totally understanding about me trying to get my phone to go onto the camera bit, because I had to, like, put in the password, like, twice, and we had a little bit of small talk about that about how phones struggle with passwords. And yeah, there's the picture. It's really nice. It's funny too, because my friend Emily is like a massive Paul McGann fan. She went up, I think, after me, and she was um, besotted with him. So yeah, that was fun. But everything was not smooth sailing. For fun fact, my electric wheelchair's battery is basically dead. And at the time I'm recording this, I'm currently waiting on a replacement battery whilst I wait for a new chair. I charged it twice, not only before we left for the convention the night before, but also on the train. And yet still, it basically died. So I had to head into one of their little lost and found areas and they let me plug in the chair because I brought the charger. 
Luckily, the people at Wales Comic Con are super, like, really, really helpful when it comes to disabled people and stuff. It's it's easily, like, the best convention in terms of those sorts of things. Like, I'm not trying to throw any tea or any shade, but there are some conventions I've been to that just straight up do not care whether you're in a wheelchair or need help or not. <laughs> London Comic Con. <clears throat> Sorry. So, hey, Wales Comic Con, if, uh, if you ever want me as an ambassador, feel free. Although, nix that, because one thing I will say is your food prices... My god, they are very, very extensive. I got a pizza there that was like four slices and it was like eight quid. And I was just like, what is happening? So I managed to just about get back for the train. However, even then, I almost got stuck because the other train heading out from Telford back to Shrewsbury was almost full. But nonetheless, we made it. Not least because I was traveling up with my mum this time and she was fed up all of them messing us about with the wheelchair and stuff and she was not going to let me not get on. She's very stern. That's something you need to know about my mum. But in this case, it was needed. It was a more chill con experience than previous ones. I wasn't there as long because I was trying to make it back for the 60th trailer and we got back with about 20 minutes to spare, which I think isn't too bad. I only picked up one thing at the convention, which I haven't opened yet. It's this Series 3 master figure which i was like yeah i'll grab that the guy did try and sell me on arachnos but i just didn't really have enough money to justify it and i also don't know where i would put it in my bag because those things are huge i also took one more look at the tardis before i left which had by that point been commandeered by unit so that's pretty cool and also before i left this guy came up to me trying to heal me he was in this like purple robe and he was like do you get any pain at all and I was like, um, uh, the stomach, I guess. And he was like, okay. And he like started rubbing this thing on me. It was very odd. It didn't do anything. I'm not sure who that guy was. I thought I was being mugged for a second. But yes, we shortly left just after that. But yeah, that about wraps up my trip to Wales Comic Con. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give a like. Comment down below, were you there? Who did you see? I was going to see David Bradley as well, but he cancelled. He always seems to escape me whenever I try and meet David Bradley, but I hope he's okay. Please like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you later.